Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a huge Wednesday today on FIFA 21 with the potential guaranteed Premier League Tots SBC. As of right now when I'm recording this, that has not been added to the code. And that could mean a couple different things. We're going to talk about that. Also, with the Weekend League Rewards market upon us, this is one of our last chances to buy up some special cards and our last chance at looking to buy Team of the Season cards themselves. And I want to talk what's going to happen today with all of those types of cards on this game, as well as the SBC fodder and what rewards is just going to do to this game because it's honestly going to be crazy. Now, we have had one TOTS guaranteed SBC released, and that was yesterday. We had the Saudi League TOTS SBC released, 82 rated squad supplying everybody again in this game with more TOTS cards. Now, it would make sense for EA to drop this guaranteed Premier League TOTS pack today in this game. But as of right now when I'm recording this, that code has not been added yet. There's no tweets. There's nothing about a Prem TOTS guaranteed SBC just yet. Now, that could mean that we might not get the SBC, but that also could mean EA could be changing it up this year, doing something less desirable, who would be surprised, and drop a player pick because player picks do not have to be added into the code Um in the game. So we won't actually see those show up in the game code. They'll just get dropped. So if EA, which, you know, every year over year for the past few years, like the Premier League guaranteed TOTS SBC has gone from like 85 rated to 87 rated to last year was an 88 rated squad. Now this year with less players out and the players being less expensive than last year, you would think that EA would realize that and say, hey, we're going to just put out the same requirements as last year or even lower, like an 87 rated squad with a team of the season and boom, there's your guaranteed TOTS pack. Well, since it's not in the code, maybe they're thinking up something different. If they could do or if they do a player pick, I don't know what they would do. I don't think they would do like a guaranteed Prem Tots player pick where you would get a chance at picking three players that would show up because a man, if they do a player pick for 13 or 15 different cards and you get three options, that would be ridiculous. But something they could do is somehow combine like the Premier League um, as a player pick and the community. So maybe it's a Tots player pick between community and between Premier League and still that would kind of be a pretty dope and possibly OP player pick with only 30 cards being available um, and some gems in both of those squads. So if that is the case, that would obviously be a surprise. Community TOTS card prices, it might make them have some sort of panic and that would be some sort of, uh, if we get any SBC that is a player pick or a guaranteed TOTS player pick or a guaranteed TOTS SBC, there is going to be market movements today, and that's why today could be a huge day. But as of right now, I see nothing showing signs that there will be a guaranteed TOTS pack today, which is crazy. Now, EA could still drop that code into the morning on Wednesday. We've had late code drops all the time, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Stay tuned to my Twitter, link down below in the description if you want to stay involved there. I will tweet out stuff if we do receive it. Now, as of right now, the index 86, because some people were going to be buying up these cards for a potential guaranteed toss today. The index 86 has gone up a little bit in the past few hours. And I don't know if just if this is people investing based off of them thinking we're going to get that SBC today. I don't really think we can look at this and, and think that somebody has, you know, information that we don't. But we'll see, right? We will see because most likely if there is a player pick or if there is some sort of SBC today for a guaranteed prem tots, it, it's going to be a little bit expensive, right? It's probably going to be a couple hundred thousand coins because if you look at the tots squad again, you've got a lot of coins over a couple mil or sorry, you've got five cards over a million coins and then you've got a lot of them in that like 250 to 500k range so i think e would probably price that sbc around like 400 000 coins which of course if you got sushek or gundawan it would not be worth it but of course you could get salah you could get rashford and that's why people are addicted to packs like that so if an sbc like that does come out today of course we talked about it yesterday i think this is going to be our time to look at some of these out of pack specials from the Premier League, like this Tiago, that's a Soko that's on my transfer list, uh, Foot Birthday, Lucas Mora, tons of different Premier League special cards, I think, are gonna do bits this weekend. 238 on that open bid for that Tiago. This guy's kind of dropping down a little bit right now. Prices on some of these out of pack special cards have gone up a little bit, but I really think today is gonna be the day. Uh, to get involved that there is some sort of guaranteed TOTS SBC pack. Now, I'm watching guys like this Maximin, this Pogba, um, you know, foot birthday cards, like this Sterling who bounces around a lot in price, this Kent who is down. I know he's not uh, Premier League, but he's English. This Modric is pretty low. I also know that La Liga TOTS is coming on Friday. So 
I'm going to be sticking more towards just Premier League out of spe uh, pack special cards. But I think you could look to La Liga if you wanted to. That might be more of like a longer hold into next week or until Friday night. But at least for a Thursday rewards market rise, I do think that the Premier League out of pack specials or icons, out of packs icons, or even just some of your meta primes and moments is going to be the way to go. Now, again, last year, I want to show you a couple graphs of what happened, right? A lot of prices for Premier League out of pack specials are up, right? You, this Tamori last year went from 380 to 480, kind of chilled during the week at like 450 to 460. And then rewards day came on Thursday, and this guy absolutely skyrocketed up to 600 thousand coins because of lack of pacey meta center backs in the Premier League and he had English links, right? So that's why this card absolutely ballooned. This David Luiz is a little bit of a different story. He went down during Prem Tots because of the uh, Indidi SBC that everybody did last year. But then of course, with all the coins that are put onto the market after rewards tomorrow, this David Luiz card went from 770k to 898,000 coins and he rose up from 627 to 707 on the Xbox. So huge rises on the market, and especially some of the higher tier cards, because if you, let's say, had, you know, that SBC and Diddy in your team, but you got elite rewards or you got a couple TOTS cards that you packed from your weekend league rewards, even if you got like gold three, your tradable packs, you're going to have more coins to go out and buy more of these players. So that is why you see this market go up so much. Now in the high tier, especially the high tier meta market, you see the cards go up a lot in price because if you got elite or above, especially top 200, top 200 on Thursday is guaranteed two and a half to three million coins. From this side of 15 players, you're going to get 11 of them in one pack. That's big money, right? Even if you're getting elite, you could easily pack, you know, anywhere between, I think the absolute lowest amount of coins you can get is like 300K or like 275,000 coins between Ederson, Gundawan, and Sushek. So it's basically about 300,000 coins that you'll be able to get at a very minimum if you got 23 wins. And then even if you got a three player pack, you could very easily pack Shaw, Fofana, and Ruben Diaz. And boom, there all of a sudden you have yourself like 800, 900,000 coins just like that. So there's going to be a lot of coins added to the market on Thursday. And that's really what's going to cause this rise. And I think today on Wednesday, whether we do see content or whether we don't, is going to be the day to probably get involved with stuff. If you don't see an SBC today, what you're going to see is a lot of people going out on the market and starting to buy these cards. Now, this headliner sun is something that I'm sort of interested in, but it's got to be for a right price because right now he's 433,000 coins. This guy was like 360, 370 last week. This sun tots card is gathering so much hype, but he's also so expensive that people are going out and they're using this version instead. So, I mean, this sun card, who's very, very rare, this could be somebody like the um, David Luiz last year or the... Um, the Tamori that goes from 440,000 coins this week, he could be 500K plus this next week. Just because he is up so much does not mean that he can't go higher. Same thing with like Lucas Mora for birthday. And I'm not looking at Spurs cards here just because I'm a Spurs fan, but this Lucas Mora card was like 560,000 coins last week. He's 700K. But again, this card is so rare, it's very meta, and people are going to have, look how rare this card is. People are going to have the coins to buy this stuff later on in the week that with rewards, this stuff could just continue to go even higher. And that's why I'm looking at a lot of these Premier League out of pack special cards. Now, I, I'm going to focus on Prem myself. This Conte What If card is something I'm looking at as well. Odegaard, I'd keep my eye on. You know, some of this stuff is where I'm going to be focusing. Now, you could st still get involved with some La Liga cards for sure, like this Fatih. Um, I think that's the only La Liga card that's in this side here, but some of these cards that are La Liga as well, you could still get interested in and look to buy. This Desk card is a very popular one. I think this Reese James right back card with Juan Bisaka getting so expensive, almost 900,000 coins, just crazy, crazy expensive. And this Reese James being kind of the other meta right back. Of course, people are using Cancelo as well. Cancelo is still 450K. I feel like this Reese James card could go a lot higher this weekend as well. Um, just kind of like we saw with that David Luiz last year. I mean, Reece, this Reese James card was what? 420K on the weekend? 413,000 coins, went down to 373, and is right now 388. If this is back in the 370s, I'm buying this today. I really am. If there's any sort of panic today on the Premier League out of pack specials, this was the time that we were looking for. This is the time where you pounce. Honestly, 
in my opinion. So that's really where I'm going to be looking today is that Premier League out of packs market. You could look at La Liga if you wanted to. And if you want to look at icons, be my guest as well, because people are going to have a lot of coins. I mean, you look at my transfer list right now, and I've got 10 Essien cards that I bought earlier this week when there was panic from the, the midfielder icon pack. I bought these between 380 and 400,000 coins. And, uh, you know, this guy is still kind of chilling around 400,000 coins right now, but he's so rare, right? 390 right there. That's really cheap. There's like one card at 390, and then his next cheapest is like 420, 430K. I mean, I know people are crafting Essien. I totally understand that, but I think this Essien baby card could very easily go up over 430, 440,000 coins, and I'd be making a cheeky 300,000 coins, I believe, if I did my math correctly, like 250, 300K on all of those cards. So, I think that the meta prem specials and those icons are going to be the place to go for the out of pack stuff rising into rewards and of course after rewards as well. There's going to be a lot of people today looking to buy cards if there is a drop. So that's what we're really going to be looking out for. Um, now these these prem tots cards as well. Some of these cards are up a little bit. Salah is down right now. Ruben Diaz is about the same. Fofana the same. Shaw is similar. These guys are sort of near the lowest that they've been. Maybe up a little bit. If there is any panic today from some sort of guaranteed SBC, that's going to be your chance to get in on these, I think. Because last week, what we saw when the Community Tots Guaranteed SBC came out, these guys shot up almost instantly. So if there's any cards in the Premier League team of the season that you want for your team, and there's no crazy content that EA puts out, because this week, honestly, Premier League Tots' this week has been so disappointing. Uh... I don't see them doing anything crazy. I, I really don't. I really feel like they just want people to try these cards out. And for whatever reason, they're not dropping a lot of content. So, you know, these cards are probably going to be their cheapest today. Some of them might be the cheapest at rewards. But again, there's so much demand for buying these cards up is that when today 6 p.m. content happens, if there is nothing, they're going to go up. If there is something, they might get sold off a little bit and then go up. I really think that later tonight into Wednesday and into Thursday, these guys are just going to continue to rise as people buy them for their teams this weekend. But again, just a word on, on what's going on with this Prem Tots, EA Sports. I mean, last year, you think about what we had. We had so many SBCs last year, um, player SBCs. We had like a Moments Koretska. We had the Indidi SBC that I was mentioning a couple. We had like four player SBCs by this time. This week, we have had a showdown for UCL a Saudi League Tots SBC, and a Gareth Bale flashback. Not a single Premier League Tots SBC has been released yet, which is honestly just, it's amazing, right? It's We have two days left. It's Wednesday and Thursday. We have two days left of Premier League Tots and no Tots players from the Prem to show for it. That's a problem. We better get one today as well. I mean, I don't know what EA is doing with its promo. At least they gave us some upgrade packs, which is nice. But some of the SBC content this week has just been, it's been bad. Now, the objective content's been decent. Uh, and then you combine all of this with no SBC content. You combine all of that with the player boosts of the cards that are in packs are, are, are not very good. And it's just a lot of people are not very happy right now with where Premier League Tots is and how it's going, which is very unfortunate. But also a little bit of account maintenance. You see the counter is down up here or it's up to seven. I did pack Cancelo today, first owner on tradable. I've put about 700,000 coins into upgrade packs. We have got Sushek, Gundawan, and Cancelo. Ederson was packed on Friday. So I finished the Bale SBC. I did the Kaylor Navas uh, Player of the Month SBC, and I am seven out of eight squads. I'm an 88 rated squad away from completing Moments SE. And so and all in all, I mean, I'm crafting this SBC for so cheap with the upgrade packs. I'm going to be doing a complete set of more upgrades. And if you're grinding upgrade packs today, which I think I have 11. So, you know what? We'll open one for the boys. We'll open one for the boys on the YouTube video. Uh, we're opening a lot of these on stream. It's a lot of fun. But I do think that rares could go up even more today on Wednesday and even on Thursday after awards because people will get more coins and uh, put even more into these upgrade packs now also you could say that they've these rares might get supplied a little bit on um maybe today on wednesday if we get europa league or you you know marquee matchups for any of the champions league games um if we get any of that there could be a little bit of supply on the market for those um and then also on thursday with marquee matchups now i guess one outside possibility is that they would release like a guaranteed tots spc on thursday um but yeah, that'd be, that'll be a crazy market movement. And if we see the pack code late Wednesday night, then we'll talk about it heading into Thursday. But as of right now, 
Uh, I really think that EA would want that to be before rewards. Because again, like we had on last week, right? They kind of focus on the next league. When it comes to Thursday at 6 p.m., they start focusing on La Liga, which is what they did last week, of course. Um, now, this week should be different with like the whole, you know, we had the social media blackout, so they retweeted the team and showed it last Thursday. I don't expect that for Thursday at 6 p.m. content with La Liga Tots, but we'll see what EA do according to that. So if you're spamming upgrade packs, good luck right now. Today's going to be a massive day on the market just because there's going to be a lot of buying. Potentially, it's a little bit of panic. You know, SBC fodder is kind of starting to rise up. If you have fodder that you bought on the weekend when prices were super duper low, I would honestly consider if you bought 83s at like 1K, 1.2K, these guys are up to 2, 2.5K, 84s are up a little bit. Some of the fodder is, is rebounding back up a little bit. Some of the higher tier stuff really hasn't moved. Uh, higher tier stuff, you're really hoping for some sort of pack today to make that go up more. The lower tier stuff, I mean, you could kind of cash that out if you wanted to because I do think that, you know, as we come to Friday again with the lighting rounds that will be happening, you'll probably see some of that lower tier fodder get packed again and get supplied. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now with this market on this game. I've got, you know, a lot of coins on my transfer list. Definitely going to be flipping some cards. Definitely going to be doing more packs, trying to pack some blues. And it'll be very interesting and a huge market rise coming after rewards. I think that's something that we can almost all, you know, guarantee on unless EA does something crazy that we're not expecting. A massive, massive market rise post rewards, I think, is in store for us this week. So I want to kind of get you guys prepped for that and to say that if you haven't bought any special cards yet, um, hopefully there's a little bit of dip today, which would be a great time to get in and then stuff continuing to go back up. Same thing with the TOTS cards. If you want to buy those for your team, I think that is going to be, there's going to be a window of opportunity for that stuff today as well. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.